Hi, I'm Mike, Paradise Cigars, and I promised a review on uh, Rocky Patel. Rocky Patel Torpedoes, 1990, aged 12 years, and have been in my humidor for about a year. There's three of them in here. First of all, I don't understand the 12 years. Usually that's a pretty long time for cigars. The, the tobacco actually tends to get bland in my experience over 35 years. When you take out the cigar tobacco for a long time, it tends to become bland. So I'm not sure if this is true or made up or, or what it is. It seems to be a little foggy to me. I did do a pre-test the other day, smoking them to get a feel for them. And I do have to say that this Rocky Patel 1990 won the Academy Award. This won the award for probably the longest run I've seen on a cigar in probably about 10 years, or as long as I can remember. So the first smoke didn't come out too good. Let's try a few others, just to see where the heck we're going. In my humidor for year at least. Rocky Patel, vintage 1990. What did I say? Six months, a year? I don't know. It's been a while. The, uh, oh. Hmm. Good draw. A neutral taste to me. Forgive me, please, if I have a backup cigar. Uh, my cigar, because usually when I'm done testing cigars, I'll light up a good cigar, and uh, that makes me happy. When I say a good cigar, uh, usually I'm talking a craft cigar. A craft cigar, one that's made in small uh, factories, uh, family made, uh, and a cigar like this is a mass-produced cigar made by a big corporation. What we're doing, we're gonna do the samplings on all of them, because uh, that's what I'm here for. Mm. I, I have no noticeable taste. A good draw and lots of smoke. I'm trying to discern some, some flavor from it. It's not spicy, smooth, a little bland if you ask me. So we'll try this. see where it goes. Of course, you know me. I'm a fanatic. So we're going to light up another one right away too. Throw it on there. This one's tight. Mass produced cigars. 50% tight. Uh, it's going to be typical. Mm -hmm. A little tighter, but still a lot of smoke. Similar in taste, neutral at first here, no spice. Certainly not harsh in the back of the throat. The other one's been sitting for a little while. So let's see if it's staying going, because that's an important part of it. In order to get the draw out of this one, I did have to cut a little more off it, but that's normal with a torpedo. I mean, I think a lot of people don't care if it's a little tighter. This one's a little tighter. This one's a little easier draw. Big difference between the two. Typical again with uh, uh, mass-produced cigars, as you're going to see, big difference between the draw from one to another. 
where usually the craft cigars are going to be real consistent. That's the idea, small factory, small production, uh, families looking over the shoulder every time, and usually with, uh, with the best cigars, they're going to be real consistent, hopefully, unless the guys are idiots. Now we'll settle in to see what happens. So I'm coming back to him at this point because I have to tell you that this particular one is a looser one, but it takes a lot of puffing to keep it going. The more you puff on it, the hotter the smoke is. The hotter the smoke, the more it burns my tongue. I can't continue smoking this one, it's just burning my tongue. Uh, it gets a zero on my point scale of one to 10, along with the, uh, the runner. So we've got two zeros, one to go. It seems to be smoking pretty good. We'll come back to it in a little while. And this one's burning beautifully. One out of three. So if you're smoking them, just always take three cigars out with you and maybe throw a couple away and smoke the good one out of it. That's all I would suggest with this particular cigar. And we've got two zero ratings and uh, one that I rate about um, you know, it's burning nice, has a good draw, nondescript in taste. So let's give it a seven on the scale of one to ten with two zeros. Uh, so that's uh, what seven out of thirty which is uh, uh, maybe a couple points. A couple points on a, a 1 to 10 scale. Was that 2.3 on a 1 to 10 scale? That's my final rating on the Rocky Patel 1990. I'm not going to go on, on any further. My tongue is uh, burnt out from the bad ones. Um, and that's my final selection of this particular cigar. Uh, good luck in finding a good cigar. I hope that. Um, my review will give you a little help in that regard and that uh, we'll look forward to further reviews and perhaps uh, some good cigars in the future, some good craft cigars. And we'll also smoke some of the mass market cigars again to give you a perspective on the overall uh, run of the cigars and what to smoke and what to avoid. Bahayam.